Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul. Today is Friday, October 11th. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great fall so far. Uh, everything is good here. My new floor is going to be installed next week in my craft room. So I am so very excited. And like I've told you guys, I've just been like trying to craft everywhere in my house. And I have a temporary table set up here in my craft room, but I'm going to have to move everything out again over the weekend. So it's just been kind of crazy, but, um, you know, hopefully it'll all be resolved soon after it. Well, after I get the flooring in, then I have to move everything back, but you know, that's okay. It's all good. So I didn't do too much hauling this week. I have a few crafty items, mostly just like Christmassy uh, decor and that kind of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy my haul this week. So uh, let's get started. So this is the first item I got and this is a, I just got this today at Home Goods. It's a melamine gingerbread plate and it's kind of like, I mean, it's a plate, but it, you could kind of use it as a bowl, I think, because all the edges go up. Isn't that really cute? It was only $2.99, so I probably should have gotten more of them, but I figured it would be good just to put like hors d'oeuvres on there or maybe some Christmas cookies. So I thought that was really, really cute. You could, you could even put in your craft room to put like pieces of ephemera or something in it. Actually, that's a good idea. So yeah, so I got that at Home Goods. Something else I got at Home Goods last week, which I forgot to show, is this and this is uh, a set of 12 uh, colored pencils and it says cream colored pencils they were 3.99 and the brand is artify i've i've never heard of those i don't know if, if you guys have let me know oh they're from brooklyn i just went to brooklyn last weekend i think i told you guys i went for um just to visit my dad and my stepmom and my sister came. My sister and I went to the Morgan Library, which is, uh, if you remember J.P. Morgan, he was a, a, a huge finance guy in American history, uh, you know, like in the early 1900s. And he acquired a, a, a tremendous amount of like rare artifacts and books and his just library on Madison Avenue in the city is it's amazing so we went to go see that which was incredible so if you ever get a chance to go there um, I think it would be it's a, it's a great trip but anyway so let's take a look at these pencils in case you're curious I just thought the colors were so pretty it says cream color I don't really know what that means I just like the pastel colors of them so let's see what they look like it says perfect for artists of all levels with the, uh, I hate when people do that. They put a apostrophe for plural, but anyway, that's just a thing of mine. So let's see how these look. Okay. They're really nice, pretty colors. You know, feels like a nice colored pencil. So anyway, I picked those up for $3.99. Why not? Right. And just look at those colors they are so pretty. All right, so that was from Home Goods too, and I did get this as well. I just couldn't resist this cute rolling pin. It was $7.99, and it's from the Bake Shop, and it is, let's see, ideal for rolling pastry, beechwood handles, and silicone. So look at the cute little gingerbread guys on there and the candy canes. I love rolling pins. I usually, I have a whole bunch of them. Um, I use most, mostly the ones that, the one that I use for rolling out pie dough and cookie dough, it's marble. So it ke it's cold and it's nice and heavy. I think this will probably just be used, used for decor in my kitchen. So, but I just love it. It's so cute. So I got that as well. And then I got a few things from Walmart. You know, they have the cutest ornaments out and just decorations. So I picked up this ornament. I couldn't believe this was only $1.98, but it was. See, I'll show you the price tag. Holiday time, $1.98. I remember last year they had a wagon with gingerbread people in it, but every one in my store was broken and it wasn't as cute as this. So I'm glad they kind of revamped it for this year. So it's a cute little red wagon. It's got wheels on it. They don't move, but you know, it's just for decoration. Anyway, it says Merry Christmas. It's got a little gingerbread guy and girl on there. Those are plastic. It's got some greenery, some berries, and it's just super cute. And it's a nice big size too. So $1.98, I thought that was a great price. I also got these. I've seen other people haul this as well. These are little rolling pins, back to the rolling pin theme. 
And these were $2.48, but it comes with four of them. Let's see, they say hot cocoa, candy canes, peppermint, and cookies. So I'm thinking about using these for decor. I mean, they'd be really cute as ornaments too. Even like, you know, wrap or tie these onto a present. I think that would be really cute. You could use these in crafting to for like baking theme projects. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for yet, but um, yeah, probably not ornaments. So got that. And then I got two of these cute little flowers and these have little alligator clips on them and they were 60 cents each. And look at the fabric, they're little gingerbread guys and they have gold glittered stamens. And they have a big version of this too. I forget how much that was, a couple bucks maybe, not, not bad. But um, that was just really big and I thought, and like, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, so I thought this smaller size would be a little bit more manageable and just for 60 cents each, so $1.20 for both of these. And I thought these were really, really cute. So there's that. And then speaking of gingerbread, I found these three cute little gingerbread house ornaments. These are, I think they're plastic, but um, they're adorable. And these were $1.98 each. So there are three different versions. This one has a, the little Santa with the Christmas tree cookie and peppermints on top, little blue windows. It's all glittered up and just super adorable. So there's that one. And then there's this version too that has a little gingerbread guy and more peppermints. I like the peppermint like columns, gingerbread uh, or um, peppermint on top as well. So there are those two. And mm -hmm. then the third one, I think there were only three. I didn't see any other ones. This one has a snowman with little bit different decorations on the front but otherwise looks the same as the um, gingerbread guy but cute right oh this one has a chimney and this one doesn't so this the gingerbread one is the only one that has a chimney so adorable little ornaments or for you know decoration and then also at Walmart I got this pack of tissue paper it's from Holiday Time, 50 sheets, 10 printed, 10 solid, and 30 white, which is fine because I, I tend to use the white more often. And then if you wanna use like the printed ones, just put one sheet on top of them. Anyway, it was 2.98 and it's got the pretty pastels. I love the snowflakes. There's the white pastel stripes and then pink. And um, they have this nice scalloped edging too. So $2.98 is a wonderful price. They have all sorts of different designs, but I just wanted to get the pastels. So got that. And then this came in from Scrap Diva Designs. This, this was a little bit late, so it didn't come with my design team package, but um, I figured I would show it to you because it came separately. So this is called the 3D Pumpkin Shaker Bag. And I haven't opened it yet or anything. Okay, sorry, it took me a while to get that out of the bag. But anyway, so it's a shaker bag. So I think you would hold it or um, orient it this way. And then if you wanna make it into a jack-o'-lantern, you could put this on it too. Otherwise, just keep it as like a vaulting bag. And then it comes with dies. Let's see, this is probably, this was on the back. So these are the sides, so this is probably the bottom, and then you would cut this out twice for the front and the back, and then it does come with cute leaves, and then these are little, oh, these are probably loops that you put on the sides to make a handle for the top. Oh, that's gonna be so cute, I can't wait to make that. I just published a video yesterday for more Scrap Diva Designs projects from October, so make sure you check that out if you didn't see that yet. But um, I think I'm gonna make this next because I really like that. That's a very cute set. And I'll link that down below on scrapdivadesigns.com if it's still there. And um, also my referral link and coupon code for Scrap divadesigns.com they're always down below in my description boxes so make sure you use those or please use those if if uh if you can i appreciate that so much so i think that's all i have to share with you guys today not a lot i went back to michael's today because it's right next to home goods and um, i had a coupon for 30 percent off of one item but i didn't get anything although i do want to get some of the solids for the Christmas paper pads because they're they looked really nice, but I think I'm gonna wait till they go on sale because I you know I don't need them right now, so I figured I could wait. And then um, yeah, I guess that is it, you guys. I know it's short, 
but I hope you're having a wonderful week and you have a great weekend. A lot of people have off on Monday, so if you do, I hope you have a wonderful long weekend. I'm not sure what we're doing this weekend, but um, probably taking everything out of my craft room again. And yeah. <laughs> hopefully, let's well, see, next week my new flooring is gonna be installed on Thursday. So yeah, I won't be, I'll probably have one more week of doing videos in my dining room. <laughs> so thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Um, you know, it's been, it's been difficult, but nothing that can't be overcome. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye!